clear that Chinese people have a culture. She's not wondering if there is one. She's clear. And in China, the, the business language in China is Chinese. Now, Mandarin, Cantonese, they're clear. Now, what they do, what that does, it creates a, a buffer to these invaders, to these outsiders who are, are constantly trying to corrupt their culture. So they, they have a baseline that they're trying to maintain mm -hmm. at all costs to, to an to perversion. They don't have 6,000 languages yeah, or 2,000. Well, to a perversion in, in, in the case of being very centralized. Right. But they're, yes. they're so like, we're not going to relinquish or give up this thing. So if you go to Africa or you go as so-called African-Americans, we speak French. Dutch. Dutch English. English. Uh, Portuguese. Spanish. Listen. <laughs> the Chinese people speak Chinese. Now, look, even if they speak English, they, they speak in Chinese. So my point is, wow. there's a, a real orientation that's very consistent. In, well, somebody in the, here said the language of commerce is English. No, listen, and not in China. You, you not in China. Facebook. You can't even have Facebook in China. They're yeah. clear. You're not going to corrupt. E even when I talk wow. to indigenous African people, their, my, my brother's married and a sister from Nigeria. Their culture has been corrupted by colonialism. Right. So now, even when we say they use in a traditional, that tradition is European. has been, inv right. been invaded. And in, in the Europeans, when they met African leaders that were women, they said, we're not going to do business with them. We want to see your men. There probably was already some maybe issue somewhere. But then... The culture that actually started off with men and women both had leading, I mean, matriarchal societies in Africa. We're talking to the Dahomey, the Dahomey um, warriors that the, the Dora Milaje yeah, from so Black Panther are, are based on. And, and the Candaces for, for the warriors on elephants that stood down, um, allegedly, uh, Alexander the Great, their, their whole culture is run by and led by warrior women. In Africa. But, so China, even with their issues that one is very clear, has a compass to get the thing right. At the end of the day, all these societies have gone through industrial, gone through issues. Mm. I'm not saying China shouldn't be allowed. I think everyone is going to be allowed that. But if you have a compass, something that t kind of tells you what the cultural time it is, you will go from only having one child, they will expand that, they will realize certain things that were done were wrong. Now, they may never admit it. I mean, governments suck. <laughs> right, 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 right. Governments suck, I think. Right. This is just full disclaimer. Right. I think they suck. Uh, Whoa. I can say that. But my point is, culturally, they still have a connection to something that's been like amazing for thousands of years. Mm -hmm. What happens in our case, that culture has been disrupted it's been manipulated to the point bastardized now, bastardized right. so even in africa if you have people practicing things it's been I, again i keep saying corrupted but yeah but nothing, that's the truth well i'm saying people evolve i'm not saying that there's no evolution in, in any of our interactions right, true. but the context has been so tr traumatizing mm -hmm. so that so i'm saying corruption because it's been very traumatic what they've so done can we get so, it back what do, i mean you because so, so that's I a think, fact no, so i think i think in I think all the things like education, we went, if you really study it, in 1865, slavery ended in America, you know, legal slavery. We didn't have, we couldn't read because up to that point it was unlawful. It was illegal, right. We didn't have no jobs because up to that they didn't pay for our labor. We, 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 so we didn't have any jobs, we didn't have any money, we didn't know who we are because they had stole our language and our, and we still didn't go around killing each other. That was like the first thing that kind of got me. If, if people try to say poverty and lack of education is why people murder each other. Even deeper than that. Yes, ma'am. Weeksville, Eatonville, Rosewood, Greenwood, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Not only did we not kill each other, we found a way to build communities, several in North Carolina. We found a way to build when we didn't have anything. We found a way to come together and because and the government wasn't helping to build thriving, thriving communities that had schools, that had jobs. You know, we created industry in Mississippi. Was it mud, mud by you? Uh, th throughout the country. So, so I'm like, it can't be because of this. Because we've sh not just fig we literally have demonstrated in this land that without education, without money, 
that without knowing who we are, our identity, we didn't go around killing each other. Mm -hmm. What changed? If, and it's really like like the sister did in that book. What's the book about the uh, New Jim Crow? Oh yeah, it, uh, Michelle Alexander. Sister Michelle. It wasn't really until the nineteen seventies that you start this real eruption of violence and incarceration. Even when I was in Africa, my my, my business partner is seventy four years old. He's from Zimbabwe. When he first heard about African Americans, they were very regal and noble people. Like it was mm -hmm. like coming to the states was like there was these black folks who were doing great things, the Langston Hugheses, all the, the, the Paul Robes, all these amazing black folks. But now what indigenous African people are taught about are these crazy folks that you don't want to have around your kids. And even when my brother marrying a sister from Nigeria, her family was a little funny style. Mm -hmm. And I had to be very clear. Uh, but I'm saying we all have contributed. So when, when mm. folks immigrate to America, mm. their ability to practice and be who they are has come at the consequence of many people who are here in America mm. fighting for those rights. So just because those people may not know their names or, or know their language, we should, res we should respect that sacrifice. I can appreciate your culture and the differences, but you still should be, even if I don't have a the cultural understanding, respect my sacrifice yes. as a person, my humanity and what we've done, even if you're coming here, yeah. respect that and know that my condition wasn't something that I created you know, yeah. randomly for myself. There's been a lot of state actors spending a lot of money. I, I always make this joke about how watermelons, like I'm fat, right? Well, you know, they can't see melty, but I'm fat. So McDonald's spends a lot of money making me really want a Big Mac. Now listen, I eat beef, but it's, that's, hamburger's not the best beef, and out of all the hamburgers in the world, McDonald's not the best. But they literally spend billions of dollars to, to entice me. Now I've been all over the world, over maybe 50 countries. Everywhere I've gone, people have enjoyed watermelons. I've never seen a watermelon commercial in my life, on, on your show or on the TV, nowhere have I heard, get that watermelon, never! <laughs> 